Who poisoned his own boyfriend? Why Heather Morris left acting? And what happened in Diana Agron's marriage? Hi, let's start. Chris Colfer. Who could imagine that after all those years spent singing, Chris would become a writer? If you didn't know, he began writing at the age of seven and has published 15 books so far. Now he is not only a best-selling author, but also a director of a movie based on his book, The Land of the Stories. But even after 10 years, he is one of the most beloved Glee characters. Can you believe that after all these years, people still scream Glee when they see him? He is not only successful in his career, but also in his love life. Chris Colfer, who was previously rumored to have been dating Darren Chris and Heather Morris, wow, is openly gay. He is in a relationship with his longtime boyfriend, Will Sherrod. Colfer first sparked dating rumors with his boyfriend after they attended the Screen Actors Guild Awards together in 2013. It was a big disappointment for fans of Klain, huh? Unfortunately, there's nothing more than friendship between Chris Colfer and Darren Chris. To return to Chris, he and Will are still going strong after seven years together. Throughout the years, they've both attended many events, and Chris even posted their pictures on Instagram. They do make a cute couple though, right? Don't you agree? Diana Agron This young lady and her boyfriends were in the spotlight many times. She's dated a lot of stars, and the list is quite impressive. Some of these lucky guys include Dave Franco, Nicholas Holt, and Sebastian Stan. But one of her relationships shocked the world. Diana's long list of exes apparently included Taylor Swift. But we have a feeling that was just a rumor. Diana Agron and Alex Pettifer met on the set of I Am Number 4. Pettifer was reportedly controlling and paranoid throughout their relationship, and they had an ugly breakup in 2011, just a year after they started dating. The Glee actress reportedly checked into a hotel under an alias after Pettifer threatened her during a phone call. Moreover, Pettifer allegedly got into a heated confrontation with actor Sebastian Stan, accusing him of hooking up with Agron. Ironically, later that year, in June 2011, Agron and Stan began dating. They separated after a year of an on-and-off relationship. However, Diana shocked the public one more time when she married Mumford & Sons musician Winston Marshall without even letting the public know. Recently, though, after four years of marriage, they split. They've been living separately since last year, a source revealed to us. Diana is dating. Does this mean Diana will show us a new boyfriend in the near future? It'll probably be another hottie. Jenna Ushkowitz We didn't hear anything about the personal life of this charming actress for years. Surprisingly, Jenna found love through a dating app. Do you still not believe in Tinder? She first spoke about her match on her and Kevin McHale's Showman's podcast in late 2019. She shared that their successful first date lasted nearly seven hours. Wow, can you believe that? Recently, Jenna announced on her Instagram that she is happy to be David Stanley's fiance. Yes, a million times yes, she wrote. Ashkowitz and Stanley's engagement comes after the happy couple celebrated their two-year anniversary. If you're in a bad mood today, just look at this photo of these two, and a smile will appear on your face. Kevin McHale Moving to Jenna's best friend and her on-screen husband, Kevin McHale. In real life, he is really hot and a brilliant dancer. Did you expect this from Artie? Despite the fact that Kevin has the hearts of millions of fangirls, they don't stand a chance. Mikhail is not openly gay, but he is also happy in his relationship. Having officially come out in 2018, the actor insists he was never really hiding his sexuality. Kevin opened up to Mark Malkin during a Facebook Live why he hit his boyfriend, Austin McKenzie. I wanted to protect the person I was with, Mikhail said. The two met while filming the 2017 miniseries, When We Rise, and their friendship eventually developed into something more. The couple is extremely cute, and their photos can melt the heart of the coldest person. Recently, the former Glee star accidentally gave his boyfriend salmonella poisoning. He said on Twitter that he and Mackenzie had a COVID scare, but soon realized it was actually due to undercooked chicken sausages. Kevin jokingly added that Austin should probably break up with him. Amber Riley this breathtaking diva is probably the most secretive person in the world. During all these years, we haven't heard anything about her love life. However, there were a ton of rumors about Amber and Kevin McHale. Now we know that's impossible, but back then, many believed in their connection. Despite the lack of information about Amber's personal life, the actress is candid about her feelings on her Instagram account. Amber writes about body positivity, self-love, and freedom. On the 4th of July, she wrote, I dream of the freedom my niece and my children will have. The actress is so stunning that it's impossible not to fall in love with her. Darren Chris. 
You may have been shipping Darren Chris and Chris Colfer's on-screen romance in Glee, but we're sorry to say that these two never were an item in real life. At the beginning of 2019, Chris tied the knot with Mia Swire, who he's been with for nearly a decade now. Mia and Darren have been together for so long that Darren wasn't even a famous actor yet when they started dating. Darren Chris told people that he first met Mia through mutual friends in 2006. However, they began dating only four years later, right around the time he joined the cast of Glee. Mia produced and directed promotional content for Glee, according to her IMDb profile. We don't know why it took Darren and Mia so long to start dating after their first meeting. Maybe Glee brought these two back together. The actor describes his wedding day as one of the best moments in his life. It was a magical, crazy thing. If I could, I'd get married every year for the rest of my life, he says. Darren posts a lot of beautiful couples photos on his Instagram, and they look great together. Heather Morris The love life of this actress is calm and stable. Years ago, Heather Morris married her longtime boyfriend and school sweetheart, Taylor Hubble. They attended the same school, but started dating thanks to the internet. They did it before Tinder became a thing. The couple started dating, but then Heather moved to LA to pursue her acting career. It was very painful for both of them, and Taylor and Heather wanted to reunite. In a 2011 interview, Morris said she'd happily give up her career to be with Hubble. I want to marry him so bad. That's what I really care about. I want to marry Taylor and have kids with him. I love acting, but if it affects my relationship, then I won't continue doing it." After graduating university, Hubble began living with Morris in LA in 2012. Heather gave birth to her first child, Elijah, the next year. The couple got married in 2015, and both were glowing on this momentous day. Elijah got a brother, Owen Bartlett Hubble, in February 2016. Leah Michelle Many fans know that Finchel was a thing both on-screen and off-screen. Leah Michelle and Corey Monteith had been dating since the show first began. In 2012, after years of speculation, the couple finally announced their relationship by saying, One day we just looked at each other and we were like, You want to do this? We knew. We all know how tragically this story ended. The death of Corey probably broke Leah, who was left devastated and traumatized. Only years after did she manage to find her happiness with entrepreneur and business owner Zandi Reich. The couple was first romantically linked in July 2017. Reich popped the question the following April with a four-carat elongated radiant cut ring that he personally designed with Lior, Yurashami, and the jewelers of Las Vegas. Leah announced the engagement on her Instagram account, posting a photo of herself with her ring-bearing hand on her face. People exclusively reported last March that the couple had tied the knot in an intimate ceremony. Now they are expecting their first child, Matthew Morrison. Mr. Shu, who always tried his best to help the Glee Club, is actually happily married in real life. Renee Puente and Matthew Morrison met at the White Tie and Tierra Ball in London in 2011, two years after they got engaged at the same event. According to Just Jared, their good friend Elton John then serenaded them with your song. Imagine having Sir Elton John as your good friend. Still think Mr. Shu isn't cool? The couple was then married in 2014 at a private estate on the island of Maui. Three years later, they became parents for the first time. Unfortunately, life is cruel and there were devastating moments in Matthew and Renee's relationship. Renee Morrison revealed the sad news in a handful of selfie videos. I just went through one of the most vulnerable, raw, massive, confusing, just phenomenal experiences that a woman could ever endure, I think. Meditation helped her recover from her painful miscarriage. Now the couple are raising their son, Revel, and Matthew is one of the happiest dads ever. You know, I have a lot of love for a lot of people, but I never experienced the love I have for my son, he told E! News. His new album filled with Disney classics was inspired by Revel. Matthew revealed that while singing every song in the studio, he was just imagining his son. Today, every career decision that Glee alum makes is influenced by how it will affect his family. Harry Shum Jr. In 2015, Harry Shum Jr. married his fiancée, Shelby Rabara, in a tropical location near Costa Rica. According to Harry's Instagram account, the intimate ceremony featured plenty of familiar faces, including a few Glee co-stars. Yes, Jenna Ushkowitz and Amber Riley received invitations to this very special event. More than three years after Harry Shum Jr. married Shelby, the star of Shadowhunters became a dad to little girl Zia in March 2019. 
I'm excited for her and for us. We haven't even planned out our baby room. None of that. We're just excited that we're about to have a baby," the actor told E! Online. In the interview with Collider, Harry admitted that he was going to jump into something new for him after the baby was born. Does this guy ever stop? Who is your favorite character? Write in the comments below. And don't forget to stay awesome!